this stuff can actually help you in your future. It's as fun as it is a learning experience. I just like to know how things are made, you know. You're engaging those students who otherwise would not be engaged. It really changed my perspective of high school. I think the biggest takeaway for us in the last 18 months is the power of collaboration. This is a national model of teachers working with their superintendents, with industry, in partnership for the American dream. We are going at rapid speed because the future is right there. We have no time to wait. 18 months ago, we broke ground, and now we have 10 different school districts doing a myriad of different things. Some are building out full shop classes around advanced manufacturing. Some are going really deep into robotics. And there's a great deal of them looking at ways Python works in the background of a lot of technologies around advanced manufacturing. The Micron Initiative is to expand microchip production in America um, and, and using our high schools, our current technical education high schools, to create a pipeline to bring more workers into that industry. The advanced manufacturing framework was very unique in the way it was developed. It was developed by teachers, for teachers, with industry input. We are building this curriculum from the ground up. It's curriculum that makes sense because it's made by teachers, it's made by the people who are on the ground. We went to the industry, got feedback from the industry, and then brought it back and implemented it in the classroom. Sometimes we do it the opposite way, where we build curriculum and then we bring in partners, but we brought the partners in first to tell us what they need so that we're making sure that we're giving that to the students. So it allowed them to see the connection between what they already were teaching and an industry that was untapped. We identified from Micron the fact that IT Fundamentals or Tech Plus was the foundational um, certification for their pipeline program. So we merged the two, so that way we were taking IT students that have that interest in electronics and putting them into that field, chip engineering and understanding all of that um, technology behind that. This class like shows me like what I could be doing for my future and we also do research about like work related to this class. Even if you're not really super interested in like the wiring aspect, also. Your instruction is a lot different, I would say, than a typical, you know, core content area classroom. So now, unplug one part of that lamp. Not the battery. If we unplug one leg from the lamp. To be able to have a content and a curriculum that was crafted by educators who also have that same skill set was very well thought out and it's a really whole systems way to approach project-based learning for our students. It has to be in the same line, it's perfect. It's fun, you know, I find this fun because there's a lot of practical stuff you do, like the setting up routers and ethernet cables, you know, it's fun. Putting that together, it interests me. I like the uh, hands-on aspect of it. I don't ever have to, hey, let's get off our phones. Uh, let's pay attention, let's put our heads up. Their heads are already up because it's content they're interested in. And it's probably one of the most fun classes in here. And it's one of the only classes I'm actually gonna use in my future. I feel like most of us wanna get into an engineering or STEM field. So uh, having this class is kind of like a stepping stone. All right, let's do it. We work in duos. And the whole point of this project is that we use our robots and we code our robots to align to each shape. Okay, so far so good. <laughs> it just needs a little bit of tweaking. But generally the community here is really, really supportive in terms of everybody working together to help each other out in terms of coding, repairing robots, and making sure that everybody has the right part. And even in the industry, you're not only working by yourself, you're working with other people as well. I love being able to see them be curious, to solve a problem, to believe in themselves. Something that's really cool, specifically about this building that we're in, is this is the actual middle school that is Micron's home school. So people who are going to be living around this plant, they're going to be attending this very school. In Watertown, New York, there is about 60% poverty. And the reason I think this program is great is because I'd like to try to break some of that generational poverty by having opportunities that, that I didn't have. In my years of teaching, 
it is probably the most excited I've been about a program. Having a program like this that is free and accessible to any student is amazing. We have public school kids going to class and we're saying, hey, you take this class, you learn this information, you have entry level skills to go into the industry. And I'm really proud of that because our students should all get that opportunity. Public education always has that stigma of being that system that's kind of just getting those students prepared at the baseline, but not going above and beyond. We challenge that stigma by bringing in our industry partners. We hear a lot that what students are learning isn't useful, that the unions don't want to see changes in schools. It's not true, and but this program really shows everybody working at their best, bringing out the best of our public schools who are now working with our teachers unions, who are working with industry, and all of us are in this together with the same goals. It is a company-driven, teacher-designed game-changer for students. It's the way CTE should be done nationally.